the Taihu Light, hosted in China's Wuxi City, now making headlines at this IT conference in Frankfurt, is the fastest supercomputer ever made. The Taihu Light has some 41,000 processors and can make up to 93 quadrillion calculations every second compared to the previous leader of the top 500 list announced just six months or so ago of just 34 quadrillion. And this supercomputer is completely Chinese made. Previously, American made microchips helped China move up the rankings until the US imposed an export embargo. The embargo was imposed by the US Department of Commerce and uh, because of that embargo, or perhaps as a result of that embar embargo, um, the Chinese had a more aggressive effort to develop indigenous or, or processors designed and, and manufactured within China. Uh, and uh, perhaps we're seeing the effects of that embargo with this uh, new Chinese machine. Such advances are held up as a source of national pride and a symbol of rapid progress. Uh, a symbol of national accomplishment. Uh, what is more important and really the bigger impact is the fact that the Chinese have invested also very broadly and as the top 500 now shows, they have of the order of 160 systems installed, uh, which is very, very significant compared to just uh, half a year ago. These are almost 50 systems more than they used to have. So uh, that shows, as I said before, the broad commitment towards high performance computing as a technology for economic growth. And says China's national supercomputing center, much else besides. If you do research, you do uh, climate modeling, you need a lot of competition. And for uh, industry, like you design your cars, you design your planes, you do a lot of, like before you do experiments, now you do uh, simulations. So you need a lot of uh, competing cycles as well. And for nowadays, you know, everybody's talking about big data. You know, like those internet companies, uh, Google, Baidu, uh, they have a lot of machines. Uh, they need that kind of uh, performance as well. The NSCC says Taihu Light's primary purpose will be to aid in China's national development, but will also provide super computing services to the rest of the world. Guy Henderson, CCTV, Frankfurt.